Hey Anita, thanks for sending me your swim video. What I'm looking at when you swim away from the camera is your high elbow recovery. And basically your arms are pretty wide and your elbow is pretty flat and it almost looks like you're reaching um, and flattening your, your hand. So um, you can see that actually as you swim on the way back, your, your palm and elbow enter the water kind of at the same time for the most part. Um, what I do like is that you appear to be swimming or pulling underneath your body over that black line. So keep doing that and keep, make sure you look down and look at the bottom of the pool so you're watching your hand pull over that black line. Um, the first thing I would fix is your recovery um, with lots of thumb slide drills as well as fingertip drag drills so you get your elbow pointed to the ceiling instead of your hand as your arms coming out of the water for recovery and that'll actually help you up set you up for a better hand entry with um, fist drill and head out of the water drill you right now you can see that you tend to reach pretty flat your elbow and palm of your hand enter at the same time and you look like you're trying to reach out in front of you instead of extending your hand deeper underneath your body and trying to extend um, from behind and really getting a better catch and stronger pull. So that's actually, let's stop there because um, once you work on your fingertip drag, fist, head out of the water, and thumb slide drill, that'll actually help self-correct and help you get a stronger underwater catch and pull. Hey Anita, what I'm really noticing is you swim a little bit too frequently and it looks like that's actually going to cause you to get out of breath because you're constantly inhaling and exhaling at a high frequency and also swimming that frequently to one side um, affects your body balance and rotation so um, the first thing I'd say is let's try to breathe to the non-dominant side or bilateral breathing the next thing you can see really is because you breathe so primarily to the right side, you're not really paying attention to that left arm at all. And so, again, the first thing I would work on is getting comfortable breathing to both sides. And then I would focus on a high elbow recovery drill. Hand entry drill comes next. So the two drills I recommend are... Um, Fingertip drag as well as thumb slide. Th thumb slide drill will not only work on high elbow recovery, but it will also help you with um, body balance and rotation and, and the ability to rotate on both left hip and right hip until you get more comfortable breathing to that non-dominant side. It will help a lot. And then moving into hand entry drills, definitely fist drill and head out of the water drill so you can get a deeper hand entry, which will set you up for a stronger catch and pull. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, shoot me an email, wendy at t2coaching.com. Make it a great day. Okay, now that you've worked on your breathing body, right body balance and rotation, it's time to work on the three main elbow right hip, the elbow. The first phase we're going to talk about is and between you want to high elbow breathe arms. with your elbow. Tight. What that means and is the other high one is elbow, called finger to elbow, as the elbow, and I'll take your wrist drag. So those are the two main things you're dragging. Recovery drills. The reason recovery is so important is in a pull your arm, so you're really a lot of times elbow, whether it's wide or too narrow, like the ceiling of the pool.